Well, this week we are taking a look for you at women in the workplace, a global look for you from the progress uh, they or we are making to the hurdles uh, that uh, we still face. For instance, in the developed world, more women are, are working than ever before, but they or we are not necessarily making it to the top. Well, according to the consultancy firm 21st, 11% of companies in the United States have no women in their executive committees. In Europe, that number is even higher. It's nearly 70%. And in Asia, it's even worse. There, over 80% of firms have no women in the boardroom. Well, for women in work in India, it's not just about the ride to the top, it's about the ride to work. Malika Kapoor kicks off our special look at women in the workplace with this report from New Delhi for you. They sing and dance quite often on this train. It's a great way to pass time, says this group of travellers. Plus, it's fun. Leela takes a local train from the small town of Panwal to her office in New Delhi every day. She used to travel in one of these. But they're so crowded, it's hard to even get on, she says. There are other problems too. Men stare and pass lewd comments. They also touch. They also touch us. Sometimes. In response to growing complaints about Eve teasing, the government decided to remove men from some trains. Last year, it introduced eight commuter trains for women only in four of India's largest cities. Last week, it announced plans to add six more. When the peak hours, the rush is tremendous. People jostling with each other to get into the train. To provide a better comfort and a better convenience for the lady passengers, the ministry has decided that uh, uh, such trains should, in, should be introduced. Since India began its economic liberalization in the 1990s, millions of women have poured into the formal workforce. They face many challenges at work. Getting to office should not be one of them, says this activist. It has to be an enabling environment, which uh, is a zero tolerance area for sexual harassment. And I think transport and getting to work itself, it's so impossible these days because of the traffic congestions in Delhi. Public transport has to be made uh, much safer for women. Have us some ambition. And I'm ambitious. If I want to reach my goals, I need to commute, says 20-year-old Nisha Rawat. This train lets me do that safely. It's encouraging more women to work, says this student, who also teaches in the city. There won't be any kind of misbehavior or mischievous things happening on the train. So it will definitely encourage them that, okay, now we can go out freely. The men are not happy. It's unfair. These ladies' trains go empty, they told us before we boarded. What we need is more trains for men. There's little sympathy for them on the ladies' special. Here they can get ready for work, snatch a few moments of peace and catch up with friends. We are just like family over here. A family on a journey that's safe and fun. Malika Kapoor, CNN, New Delhi.